with a perfect professional record consisting of 27 straight victories, 22 of which are by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, from Zagreb, Croatia, here is the former undefeated European heavyweight champion and the WBC number one ranked heavyweight challenger in the world. Good evening, gentlemen. Both of you were given your instructions in the dressing room. Both of you touch gloves, touch gloves, touch gloves. The back, I leave it with you. Lewis looking just to land here in the first round. He's only thrown one real all-out hard right hand. There he throws to the body again. You don't often see Lennox using the right hand of the body. And there's a combination by Mavrovic as he tries to step up the intensity. This guy's head's going to be a little elusive because he's smaller. Well, it's interesting. Lennox, from the beginning of his professional career, has been described by Larry Merchant as a natural counterpuncher. Now Lewis is starting to use his height advantage a little bit. He jabs, and he doesn't step too far back. Just stay there. There's the jab of Lewis. Snap. Whoa, a good right hand by the Maverick. Now the left jab starts to double up with Lennox Lewis. Hard right hand over the top by Lewis. Backs Maverick up. Another right hand knocks him into the corner. And let the knockout happen by itself. Hey, Jim, I think I just saw two fights. The, the first three rounds, and then the fourth is another fight. In the first three rounds, Lennox looked like a days ago. I had a 2-1 Lewis. But I want to tell you, in the fourth round, he's certainly picking up the pace. I mean, he's fighting a different fight altogether. He's going out, and he's throwing shots. Look at that, jump on him. The thing about it, though, you're 240 some odd pounds, maybe 50 by the night. Keep him up, You don't want to waste Lennox. a lot of energy. Get in the pocket, jab. Don't move back afterwards. Slap forward. But to the left a little bit. Lands for Lennox Lewis. 42 punches thrown by Lewis. Only 19 counted by CompuBox for Mavrovic. Hard uppercut snaps Mavrovic's head back. All he has to do is throw it. He doesn't even have to land. But Lewis is landing almost all. Good body shot. Right hand to the body by Lewis. Hard punches. That's about as good a body punch as I've ever seen Lennox Lewis throw. Lewis lands a right hand to open the round and comes back with a right and a left. And now Mavrovic's punch output is down to about zero as Lewis attacks and lands another uppercut. Low blow by Lewis. High break. That body punch of Lewis changed a lot of stuff there. And if Lennox was showing Mavrovich respect earlier in the fight, he certainly isn't now. Look at where he's holding his hands, George. It's as though he sees this as target practice. Yeah. But Lewis had an easy time of it in round six, landing 16 of 38, mostly power shots. Mavrovich feels the power. He just stops punching. Goes into a defensive mode like he is now. George Lennox lands every uppercut. Oh, Hard left did. hand lands for Mavrovich. Flush on the jaw of Lewis. May have done nothing more than to wake the champion up a little bit. Mavrovic. And another, and a right cross, and a left hook. And suddenly it's all Mavrovic as he lands flush on Lennox Lewis with a series of combinations. What a turn of events. Lewis sat around and allowed him to get back into the fight. Lewis thought he had it all his own way. And now Lewis cuts loose with a right cross that backs Mavrovic back up. Stop, stop, stop. Break. Boy, that's when it gets to be rough when a guy 240 somewhat pounds starts leaning on you. Crowd pleasing round. Lewis didn't like what happened in that round. I'm sorry, Stewart didn't. I can't imagine Lewis liked it that much either. <laughs> Ooh, right hand landed. Mavrovic has taken those right hand shots pretty well. He lands the left hook this time. There you go, four shots at time. There you go, combination landing on the face of Mavrovic. Cut lands for Lewis. Why should he throw something? Lewis actually blocked the punch Break. that time. Stop, stop, let him Maravich go. Let landed him. the second one. <laughs> Lewis is over in the trainer. Look. 
Well, there are an awful lot of fighters in the heavyweight division who are asleep now as the result of that particular Lewis right hand. But Mavrovic took it. Emmanuel Stewart said that this challenger was very, very difficult to look good against. He had some awkward athletic skills, and he's obviously pretty tough hombre. Takes a good punch in supreme condition. Stewart looks like a prophet right now. He's the one who said that he thought Mavovic would be Lewis's toughest opponent since the Mercer fight. And a lot of people laughed at that, particularly considering the fact that there were no shortage of pundits who picked Andrew Gulotta to beat Lewis a year ago before Lewis knocked him out in the first. But Mavrovic has been difficult for the champion. Now he's using his legs, jabbing. Sometimes you have to concede. I'm not going to get a knockout that easy. I'm going to have to box. You can still earn your money boxing. The guy has, a, has the whole package. He only decides to use it. He'll allow this guy to just stand in front of him. Keep busy with him. He won't punch. He oh, this is a punch we haven't do. seen Lennox Lewis right feature very often in the past. Jim, I'll tell you, I don't think it's close at all. Even in that big seventh round that Zelko Mavrovich had, at the end of the round, Lennox blasted him with a right hand that had Mavrovich so hard he was hanging on for deal life. I got it eight rounds to one. In one fact, three. if he knocks the guy out, which at this point looks unlikely, but if he does get the knockout, I'll predict it's going to come off of a left hook or an uppercut, not the crushing right hand. Well, unless he throws enough of them, one after another, Stop. stepping back. Break. There's Break. another flush Break. uppercut. But he's determined, and for that reason, he's standing right in front of Lewis, bows his head, and Lewis takes advantage of it. Because Lewis stands around and just stands in front of him and says, come on, do something. Standing around with his hands below his waist. Tempting fate is Lennox Lewis. And you really got to be careful when he decides to pick him up to his chest. Lennox Lewis bouncing, hopping the jab occasionally, posting on what would appear to be a solid lead on the scorecards against Jelko Mavrovic. He's playing, he, he, he's playing with fire, dropping his hand. Bell! Good body, left hook to the body again. Terrific left hook to the body. Lewis has thrown some of his most effective body shots ever in this fight. Of course, he's had a lot of rounds in which to do it. And the guy's tall enough so he can have a long waist. Stop! Mavrovich himself has only been in the 12th round one time. So if, in fact, this round completes, then a minute and a half from now, both fighters will be going to the 12th round for only the second time in their careers. 30 seconds of round 11. Mavrovich just doesn't have much left. I mean, he's almost rubbery. Ooh! That's the, what he's been trying to do all night. Step back and throw that to right hand. The challenger must have a pretty good chin. He has one. For a 250-pound guy against a big, big heavyweight to take this kind of stuff. You just, you just can't hold back anything. This is your chance to be champion of the world. You can't decide I was waiting. I was cooling off. I was coasting. And Stewart told Lewis that he could knock him out with right-hand leads, so he tried one right there. Glancing blow. This guy has really frightened Lewis by taking all those super hard right hands. That is a frightening thing. Load up and hit this guy and he comes right back to the next round. Lewis, not frightened enough to hold his hands anywhere below his, or above his waist. That one lands hard. He's making Lennox Lewis fight. Lennox Lewis. Lennox would be perfectly content to dance the rest of the round. The other guy makes him fight, but he, he only throws one good right hand at a time. Lewis switching to a southpaw stance. How about that? Take over Jim, tell him, make some history. Moments only be captured with Jim's words. There's virtually no chance that Lewis could lose the fight at this point. But most of his fans and supporters came here not expecting to have to sweat out a 12-round decision against a vegetarian from Croatia who's never been heard of on this side of the planet. I think you sneak a steak in somewhere in there. <laughs> they go the distance. 